Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite, in fact it is my favorite, Led Zeppelin tune. And this one's called Stairway to Heaven. You guys voted in the Facebook group on what song I should do this week. I'm listening to your requests. So here we are. Here's how to play the advanced level intro to Stairway to Heaven. Let's do it. One, two, here we go. So that's all there is to it. That's the section I'll be breaking down for you today. If you guys don't know about the free trial yet that we're offering to our YouTube fans, then you guys have been behind the times. Every video I've posted this year, I've let you guys know about a free trial we're running where for 30 days, you can try the Playground app, which is interactive, completely free, no strings attached. Try the app for 30 days, cancel anytime. So when you're done with this video and you want to learn the rest of this song, you got to head to the Playground app. Click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to learn more. Start your free trial today. Well, let's get started in this video. I want to break down the right hand first. First, our time signature tells us we are in 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure, and a quarter note gets a standard beat. The key signature is 0 sharp, 0 flats. That tells us C major or A minor. Now, this is the advanced level arrangement, which means that the hand position is changing often and the fingering is pretty tricky as well, so let's go over that now. Our first note is a middle C, then two on E, four on A, and five on B. Okay, now we go back down to E, to C, and a B again, but this time we're gonna play the B with four, so we can lead into this high C now with our fifth finger. And then right away in measure two, we're going right back to that same E, and C. And then again, right back up to that high C. But then now we're playing an F sharp with our third finger, a D with two, and low A with one, and then that same F sharp, but this time with our fourth finger. Okay, moving on, three on E, two on C, one on A, back to C, tie it. Now four on E, back to two on C, one on A, now, at the end of this phrase, measure four here, you can see we have a right hand triad, a whole chord. And that goes G major with one, two, four, and A minor with one, three, five. Then we do one more A minor. So that measure goes one, and two, and three, and four, and. So, a lot of hand position movement and finger changes so far, but let's keep moving. Second half. Starting again down here with our thumb, but this time instead of on a C, we're actually starting on a low A. So A, C, E, B. Two on E now, thumb on C, now four on B, leading into a high C with five. Back down now again, big jump, two on E, thumb on C, pinky on a high C right away. This should be similar to our first phrase now. Third finger on F sharp, walking down through a D major chord, two on D, one on A. Now back up to our F sharp, again with our fourth finger this time. Now three on E, two on C, one on A, just like before. Two on C, tied over, four, two, one, and then our G triad, our A minor triad. And that's all there is to it. So like I mentioned, Kind of tricky part here in the right hand, but we're at the advanced level, so I'm breezing through it. So, if you need extra practice with me at that walkthrough, please rewind and play back. But when you're ready, I'm ready now, we're going to try this to our medium tempo. So let's do that now. One, two, set, go. <laughs>
right, there we have it at the slow tempo. Now let's speed it up to full speed. One, two, set, go. Okay guys, there's the right hand part, good job. And actually, in my opinion, that's the hardest part. So we've got that down, it's smoother sailing from here on out. So now let's talk about the left hand. We actually don't have any thick block chords in this section in the left hand. We start out with single note roots. We're just walking down chromatically. A, G sharp, thumb under to G, F sharp, now three on F natural. So that's our first phrase. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now when the right hand plays its triads, the left hand is gonna play. So that's B, A, A. And then in the right hand rest, the left hand's gonna play a little bit of its own melodic figure. That's the end of measure four. And then that leads us into measure five, playing an A again. Now notice what I'm doing here. We see a rest on top of a note. That just means that while the left hand root is playing, the left hand thumb is resting. Then the thumb plays that E, and then they both hold out. Same thing for the second half of this measure. Left hand plays G sharp in the pinky, but then with our thumb, we are delayed. We play that E and hold it out. So this is gonna go A, E, hold them both. G sharp, E, hold them both. Same pattern in the next measure. G natural, E, D, uh, D chord here, but F sharp on the bottom, and then D. And then finally we have F natural with a C. Same pattern. So we're gonna start back at measure five real quick for a review. A, E, two, and three, and four, and next measure and two and three and four and next measure and then we're going to hold these two out for the whole measure and in our final measure we're going to play b a a just like we did up front in measure four for our triads i think we're ready now to try this left hand part at slow tempo so let's do it now one two set go Okay, great job guys. Rewind, play back with me as needed for that slow tempo, but now I'm ready to go to full speed. So let's try that now. One, two, here we go. Yes, excellent work. Now we've got the right hand and the left hand down and all we need to do is put them together. So we're in the very, very home stretch. Good job so far. Now, when we put these hands together, we'll have this whole section down, but remember, there's a lot more to this song than just the intro. So when you do finish this video with me, you gotta check out the Playground app and take advantage of that free trial that I mentioned up front at the beginning of this video. In order to do that, all you need to do is click the link in this video's description, take a second to find it, or simply tap that card above, the one that just popped up. You can sign up for your free trial, start playing in the app for free today, finish this song, and explore everything else we've got to offer. I know you're gonna love it, so check it out. But for this video's sake, we still have a little work to do left. We've gotta put these hands together. I'm ready to start doing that now, if you guys are ready. Let's do it. Sometimes, when we have a piece of music, we see that one hand is doing a lot more than the other. In other words, one of the hands needs more attention 
and one of the hands can kind of be put on autopilot. In this section of this song at this difficulty level, unfortunately that's not really true. The right hand is doing all sorts of big jumps and and it's playing chords as well. The left hand has some single note stuff which is not very tough, but then we get into this kind of a pattern. That takes a little practice and attention as well. So I don't have a quick shortcut for putting these hands together. All I'll say is that you need to do the right hand many times on its own until it's very easy. And then the same thing for the left hand before you do what we're about to do now. I'm going to assume you've done that and we're going to jump right into the hands together now at a medium tempo. And I would encourage you to try this with me 10, 20, 30, 50 times. Whatever's needed for you to feel confident and comfortable with every note, every rhythm. So, do this with me as many times as needed, then meet me at the final step. We'll do it at full tempo after this. But for now, medium tempo run through. I'm ready if you're ready. One, two, set, go. Way to go! Final step, speed it up to full speed. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. Yes, great job you guys. We wrapped it up. Now all you need to do is check out the Playground app to finish this song. So I'm going to let you guys do that now and I'll see you for the next video lesson. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.